Welcome back. In our last tips and tricks video, we discussed the tension related terms you need to understand to select the appropriate hardware for your ADSS application. If you haven't seen this video yet, be sure to check it out because today we're going to build on these terms and explain how to utilize them when evaluating hardware. Out of the terms discussed in our previous video, the primary focus when selecting hardware is going to be on the maximum installation tension and the maximum loaded tension. As an example, let's look at PLP's limited tension dead end. This product has a maximum installation tension of 1,000 pounds and a maximum loaded tension of 2,500 pounds. Now, you might be wondering why there are two different tension ratings for the same products. This is because of the requirements laid out by IEEE 1591.2 testing standards. They're different for both MIT and MLT. To determine the MIT rating, the testing performed is at an elevated temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit to simulate the cable baking in the sun all day. This increased temperature can soften the jacket of the ADSS cable, thereby reducing the gripping ability of the hardware and lowering its holding strength. Conversely, the MLT test is performed at room temperature. Because the cable does not experience softening due to increased temperature, the hardware grips better and has a higher holding strength. And the reason why the two tests are performed at different temperatures is because the NESC heavy loading conditions typically occur during icing conditions where the temperatures are lower than what you would see at room temperature. This causes the jacket of the ADSS cable to harden, which provides a better gripping surface. So the MLT is performed at room temperature to illustrate a worst case scenario, because at room temperature, the ADSS cable will actually be softer than during typical NESC heavy loading conditions. This difference in ratings illustrates why it's essential to know what the MIT and MLT ratings are and understand what they mean when selecting your hardware for your system. So jumping back to our original example, as long as the anticipated MIT and MLT do not exceed the ratings for this product, then the limited tension dead end is the correct choice for your application. If you want to see a tip, have a tip, or just want to comment, be sure to reach out to our team at marcom at preform.com and let us know your ideas. Until next time, thanks for watching.